Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Warrior Outland leveling. We have a lot of stuff to do here in the southern part of Zenger Marsh. Uh, I think we're going to start by coming down to the Sporlock Cave. But we also need to get Naga Claws, we have Diaphanous Wings we need to get from the Flying Bugs around there. Uh, we have to talk to this Ancient here to get his boon, let's do that. Oops. Okay, cool. That was an easy quest complete. Let's just go turn that in really quick. Well, yeah, thank you guys for being here and for clicking on the video. I really do appreciate you choosing to spend some of your time here with me. It's an easy 5400 experience. Yeah, I think we'll come around to the north part of the lake, we'll fight whatever bugs we can, and then we'll get into the Naga territories. We also need to find the leader, Raja Haghazed. So yeah, we got a ton of stuff to do, as you would expect for us just kind of stepping foot in here for the first time the other day. And I'm excited about it. I really like Zanger Marsh. It's been raining here nonstop. I'm kind of wondering if it always rains or if we're going to see like some different weather. Uh, we can go ahead and put our two-hander back on here. We did tank a interesting slave pens run that had uh, lots of leaving, lots of disconnecting. We had two different uh, people disconnect from the run. And the run itself went pretty smooth. We didn't have a bunch of wipes, we weren't having a ton of problems, but... We lost a rogue really early on, and then we lost an enhancement shaman, and... Had to spend quite a bit of time replacing them and getting folks summoned back in. And it just always makes me think of, you know, how we're still not going to have the Looking for Dungeon tool in, in Wrath. The, the thing that I would say, um, and this is kind of like, this is the crux of the matter, like, w the hardest part is getting someone summoned in, right? So you're like mid-run, let's say you kill a boss. If we could just have a way to, like, port somebody into the dungeon, you know? Like, maybe you join them and they can click on the thing up here and they could teleport to dungeon. That would be really cool because um, it just takes a lot of time to like A, find somebody, then you gotta have everybody run out, two people need to run out, summon. I don't know, something to make that process of replacing a little bit easier, because that's the hardest part. The hardest part is not necessarily getting a group together. You could typically get a group together, you know, with some effort. If you're a DPS, you can put yourself in the queue, you can quest for 20 minutes, and you'll probably get invited to a group eventually. But. Replacing somebody is the hard part, so I wish there could be a way to implement something that could make it easier to replace when somebody has left. What exactly that would be, I don't know, uh, but you know, I'm not a game designer, so... Another Tuesday has come and gone. Today is Tuesday the 12th as I'm recording this. Still no big announcement of the Dragonflight Alpha, which might start later in the week, I guess. Uh, but no announcements, and uh, still nothing concerning pre-patch dates for Wrath, or even the date that we're going to get the experience buff that they've talked so much about. And it kind of leaves me wishing that they could have a clearer roadmap for us. They tend to keep dates really close to their chest until, like, it's really, really close. 
and it probably would be better for the community and better for everybody if they can give us roadmaps a little bit further out. Uh, with actual dates, now granted, their production pipelines and like the way that they develop, um, it seems to be fraught with issues that cause delays. So maybe where they're at, it's hard for them to actually have a roadmap and stick to it. The way a lot of companies have roadmaps for their games and intend to try to stick to them, maybe Blizzard just really isn't set up to do that. But it would be really nice to know things, you know, like to be able to plan how you want to spend your time. If we knew the date that we were going to be getting the experience buff, that would be great. If we knew the date that pre-patch was going to go up, that would be great. And they have to have internal dates, right? It's not like they're sitting there wondering, hmm, when do we want to release this stuff? We'll just keep trying to figure it out. No, they have internal dates. They've probably had internal dates for a long time. And certainly those internal dates get refined and changed slightly over time. But we're getting to the middle of July. We could probably expect Wrath to come out sometime in September. Uh, if it's going to have any time at all to breathe before Dragonflight comes out, it's going to have to come out in September. So, you would think we could at least have a, a roadmap starting now. Maybe that's not something they could have given us six months ago. But you would think that we could have a roadmap by now just telling us when the XP buff was going to go to live servers, when pre-patch was going to start, things like that. Even if they didn't want to reveal how long pre-patch was going to be, they could at least give us a start date. I have to believe that launching a classic expansion is probably a lot easier than launching a retail expansion. So they should be able to like confidently give us dates, let people plan their time uh, a little ways ahead. I would love to know when we were getting the XP bonus. That would tell me a lot of things about uh, what characters I wanted to play, where I wanted to spend my effort in the meantime, and it would allow me to make plans for future me. And planning for future you is really good and really important. Uh, and I just wish we were more able to do that. The only annoying thing about fighting these guys is having to be glowing green basically the entire time we're doing the quest. That's the only annoying part. Uh, we can come down here more, I think. I think most of the Naga are going to be off further to the west, though. Maybe we should head that way. And uh, see where that gets us. I guess what it boils down to is that I'm just super excited to play Wrath. Uh, I don't usually get super excited for things at my age. <laughs> I have found that the more you get excited for something, the more disappointed you get if it doesn't work out the way that you want it to. But with things like Wrath, I, I, like, we know what we're getting into, so it's kind of easier to get excited about it. Wrath is kind of like... I played before Wrath, obviously. I played during Burning Crusade. I played a little bit at the tail end of Vanilla before Burning Crusade came out. But I came, I became self-aware as a WoW player during Wrath, which means like I really figured out how the game worked, what the game expected of me. Figured out things like rotations and having the right talents. Figured out how to do like raids and group play. Like I came into my own in the game in Wrath, so it's, it's a really special expansion for me. It's definitely my favorite memories, my favorite time in WoW was during Wrath of the Lich King. It was when I played the most, it was when I had the most time to play, with the exception of maybe present day. I had more time to play then, for sure, but I have, I have quite a bit of time these days to play, thanks to you guys and the support you give the channel, actually. Yeah, without you guys and your support, there would be a whole lot less of me. That is certainly true. Alright, Naga Claws. They're gonna drop off of uh, any of these guys. I'm hoping maybe sometimes we can get more than one. 
If we have to get one at a time, that, that could take a while, but it wouldn't be too bad. The problem is all these, like, fodder, all the fodder that are around that we don't really need to fight, but we're gonna have to fight them anyway. Might as well see what some of the two pulls are like. Ooh, that was tricky. Let's do that. We have tricks of our own. That was a long freeze. Yeah, that's dangerous. Ooh, really, really dangerous. Gonna have to focus on getting those casters down rather quickly. And I guess part of my excitement for Wrath is just like the thought of like, where does Classic go? Once we're through Wrath and we do the whole progression, it's going to be a really great time. And then the best thing about it is that there's going to be something that happens afterwards. And I don't think anybody knows what it is yet. I think we know what it's not going to be. I think we know that it's not going to be Cataclysm Classic. I don't think there's anybody who wants that. I liked Cataclysm. I liked the initial take on the five-man heroic runs. I liked a lot of the zones and the questing. With the exception of the entire underwater zone, of course. But I have zero desire for a Cataclysm Classic. So, yeah. It's gonna be exciting to see what happens instead of Cataclysm Classic in a couple years. Uh, they pulled this guy from over there. Seems cheap. They're parrying our cleave. We have a lot of bonus damage on cleave, but it, ha it has to hit in order for it to be effective. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use this. We're gonna use retaliation here because I don't think we're gonna power these guys down with sheer DPS alone. Pulling multiple enemies and having be, having the ability to use a victory rush multiple times in a fight is uh, very cool. I like that a lot. I should probably try to work my way... Oh, it says that she could be like right here somewhere. I don't see her right now. Hmm, it does seem like maybe she has a spawn point here on this uh, gazebo. Pavilion, gazebo, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's not a she, it's a he, and there he is. Uh, sure, I'm assuming that you are somebody right nearby who needs this. Uh, and if you're not, then I don't know why you're inviting me to the group, but uh, we'll see. Oh, this was an elite! <laughs> I, I wasn't looking. I think we probably could have had him. If, if I realized soon enough that he was an elite, we could have had him. Let's pop a potion. We've got other tricks we could do. Yeah, I was definitely just going to pull him uh, all on my own. But I'm glad to have the help now that we know. And, uh, yeah, that's all we need. I don't want to be grouped up for any of the rest of this stuff, because, uh, the rest of it is collection stuff, so. But that was nice. I'm glad we got that done. He did kind of kick the crap out of us there at the end, so maybe we couldn't have done that on our own. If we, if we had gone in a little bit more prepared, we might have been able to do it.
that charge was probably a little bit too close to these other guys for, you know, absolute safety. But it worked out. Uh, this is going to be really bad, yeah. This is going to be bad. I don't think we have, like, a good way to deal with this. Let's kill her, and then maybe we have to run away. Yeah. I think we have to try to get away. I don't know if we're going to get away or not, honestly. That was kind of just a bad pull. This whole area is kind of tricky. There's a lot of not-so-good stuff going on here for us. The casters are a huge problem. The big group pulls are a huge problem. It's kind of an area that's designed to be a huge problem. I can maybe keep this guy and drop everything else. That'd be ideal. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We dropped everything else, so that worked out. Oh, we dropped everybody except this guy who decided to kind of reset, but then anchor himself in place. That was a little bit weird. He dropped off of us and made to run back, and then he just kind of stood there. I haven't seen anything quite like that. Yeah, I think for right now we need to- let's focus the Naga Claws and let's just get this done. This is a more, more dangerous quest than we've done before. Yeah, I'm gonna walk right through this guy because for some reason I thought he was not aggressive. That's smart. And, uh, yeah, we're running out of food. I need to, I need to get more food. Uh, I have some buff food, but, yeah. Need, need to get some more actual food. I really wish we had, like, Spell Reflect or something. That would be a fun button to have. Like, having these be three pulls is kind of tough. I thought that these guys would reset, similar to how we've seen them do in the past. But no, once you pull these guys, you have to kill them. They do this little lifelink thing here, where, like, you kill one and the other one drops dead. Sometimes, and that's okay, but it's still you having to fight three enemies. Uh, which, for some classes, is a no-go. And even for us, it, it takes a lot out of us. What it's doing is it's stopping us from being efficient. We, we are not able to move from pull to pull at full health like we would want to do.
trying to target enemies that I could fight on their own. And I'm trying to avoid those two and three pulls because, uh, yeah, we really get beat up. This is probably going to be a two pull here. Yep. Okay, he's parried two wrens. There we go, we finally got a rend off on him. And that is our last bandage. We can make five more, which is not a lot. It's not a lot at all. He had some kind of curse that he cast on us, but I, I didn't see what it was in time.
Oh, I wasted a hundred rage on an execute. Oh, I saw that at the last minute. It felt so bad. Oh, I have to get better about not doing that. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That rage could have sustained us into like two or three pulls. I'd love to see like a warrior ability on a cooldown where we can just convert some rage into a little bit of health or something. Some kind of like blood healing, I don't know. I would take the uh, a little bit of heal on victory rush. That'd be nice. It'd probably be a little bit overpowered in classic, but it would still be nice. Hey, the good news is we only need two more, and since it's like a 100% drop rate, we literally only need two more. Uh, I don't really want it to be a two-pull. <laughs> I could do without that if we can find others. Um, well, we can take this guy. That's one. This is not going as smoothly as it did with the last person that we helped. Uh, can I kite here? I think I can kite. Oh, he got that big heal off, that's awesome. Let's start using some of our rage, shall we? Dagger with intellect.
All right, so that's all of the Naga Claws that we need. We need one more Diaphanous Wing. We can probably find that. We're gonna head down here to do the Sporlock stuff. And we could probably find that item on the way. And we're gonna eat, though. We're gonna eat to full here. We also have to locate the disturbance at Umbrafen Lake. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to fight through a crap ton of Naga to get to this uh, disturbance at Umbrafen Lake. I probably should have paired this up before we had all the claws we needed. That would have been a smart thing to do, but now we're going to have to go through a little bit of additional effort here. Kind of hoping this guy drops the last item we need from these. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, he didn't. Uh, why the hell would he? Doesn't make sense, but... <laughs> Why would it be that simple? Alright, we need to work our way towards this object here in the distance. <laughs> okay, that might have got it. Yeah, I think we just had to get close. I'm, I didn't see the ping go off on the screen, but I'm pretty sure we got it. It's not on the map anymore. Okay, yep, that's good. I'm happy with that. Let's come down here. I really would like to get the wing we need before I head back into this cave, because I have a feeling that I'm going to want to hearth out of the cave. We have to go all the way back and find somebody's belongings, we have to fight a named guy in there, we have to do, like, I think it's a kill quest. So we have a lot of stuff to do back there, and I think it would be best if we could just hearth out when we're done, and I, I would like to finish the diaphanous wings, since we've been working on that one for a couple of days now. But, you know, that requires that the game actually spawn in the guys that we need, which it's not doing down here right now. Let's come back to the north a little bit and kind of go out of our way. It's unfortunate. Yeah, people are farming these out. They're really hard to find and they have a shit drop rate, so...
Yep, now we're on a mission. Now I, I'm finishing this now before we're doing anything else. I don't really care how long it takes at this point. I'm ready to be done with this quest. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, now we can go all the way back to the south and get that stuff done. We could run back and turn stuff in, but I don't think any of it's going to chain further to the south here, so I think we're okay just to go ahead with our plan and hearth out when we're all done. There does seem to be a little trail here on the mini-map. Let's follow it and uh, see if it gets us up where we need to go. It looks like there's going to be a little switchback here that'll take us up to the cave entrance. Fungor Cavern, yep. I thought these were players fighting it, but no, they are actually NPC Sporlocks who are at war with these guys. A little bit of unexpected help here. I don't really know where all the objectives are at, but I think we need to work our way all the way through this place and somehow get to the bottom. If we have to clear out everything to figure it out, I guess that's okay too. These guys are melting uh, before us, so clearing them out is not going to be very challenging. Looks like he had a little bit of a heal there, wild regeneration, but I, I didn't see it uh, actually do a lot. It could have been a heal over time. There we go. Thank you for the second wind. Get us some health back. We don't really need a lot of it, but a little bit will help. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, if they're going to earth grab us every battle and then just stand there and let us kill them, I will be more than happy to accept that. That would be great. Yeah, there's Lord Clack down there. We need him. And somewhere in this place is that guy's belongings. He said he left him here. Maybe that was like a different cave. No, it looks like it's this place. We'll have to comb every nook and cranny of it, perhaps, but we should find it somewhere. Uh, back this way would be a good start.
Yeah, whatever wild regeneration does, however much it heals for, it, it doesn't heal for enough to help them. And I do see the belongings right there, so yep, here they are. I'm glad he ran over here like he was gonna like loot this. It actually made my heart drop, but then I realized it wasn't a player, it's an NPC. And then if we follow this pathway, this should get us down to where Lord Clack is, right? I mean, if it doesn't, we can just like jump down there. That's not going to be the way. Yeah, no, this is, uh... Hmm. I think we just need to go, come down here, right? Uh, let's be smart. Let's get some health back. You're an alliance player. I don't like that. I don't like that because if I clear to this guy, he's gonna pull him. I don't think I could pull all of these. That's the problem. I can get in there and I can I might be able to take them out with uh with retaliation. That might work. I kind of want to... Okay, you were an instant respawn. I, I hope that stops. That's going to be really, really annoying. And uh, could impact us here a little bit. Yeah, he's just waiting to see what we do. I'm going to try to pull back uh, just one or, one or two of them and see what happens with that. Yeah, we didn't get Lord Clack. We probably just opened the way up for this hunter to go in there. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. Asshole. Nope. <laughs> not not waiting. Okay, uh, what else do we need here? We need a couple more Marsh Lurkers. Cool, two more. Uh, the Dredgers we don't need, unfortunately.
And this will be the last one we need. I wonder why we deal so much damage to these guys. They, they seem incredibly weak. And yeah, with that, we can go ahead and hearth back. We've got uh, everything down here in the southeastern part of the zone taken care of. And that makes me feel pretty good. That's a good sense of accomplishment that we've uh, cleared all this out today. Now the Naga are behind this, but why? From what you described, the steam pump must be part of the cause for the water levels dropping in the marsh. No matter. This explains their open hostility towards us. Let's not waste any time. I need to perform another I need you to perform another task. We must determine how widespread the Naga's activity truly is and react accordingly. Exploring each body of water in Zenger Marsh could be a lengthy undertaking. If you allow me to, I will use my magic to mold your shape to one more suited to scouting the marsh. Hold this amulet above the balcony near me. When you're ready to begin, I will guide your way back safely after we're done. Okay, the balcony above her. What is she talking about? Is she talking about just back here? Uh, I don't think we're going to do that right this second. I think it's going to turn us into like an eagle and fly us around to the different lakes. Let's get everything else turned in. Good, those marsh beasts have no right to invade the home of the Sporlocks. It would be better if these creatures would learn to live in harmony, but when that's not possible, we'll be here to take care of the situation. Uh, I don't think we're going to need anything from this. Uh, yeah. This could be okay. We got 30 stamina, 19... I think our helm is better, even with the... We could fill the slots. Let's take it, and then we'll, we'll see. Real gems cost real money, like even a blue gem costs about 30 gold. I don't want to spend that kind of money when we're still saving up for flying. We did find your belongings. Uh, what do you have for us? Nothing we need. You can see now that we've reached a level where when we turn in a quest, our experience bar doesn't really move a lot. That's just gonna be how it is from here on out, I feel like. I don't know if there's a zone where we get a, like a big jump in XP. If it is, it's probably not gonna be until Nagrand. Alright, and we do have one thing to turn in back at Swamp Rat Post, so let's run up there really quick and get that turned in. And then we'll know exactly what there is left to do on this uh, on this eastern half of the zone. We still have a few things to do up near the Deadmire. Magasha bends one of the wings and holds it to her head. Nope, not my thing, but who am I to complain? Magasha shrugs. Coin speaks. Oh, oh okay. I guess that's done for now. Uh, yeah, so guys, all we really have left to do is we can do the little flying around thing. We can go up into the Deadmire. We have a couple of things to do up there. Spore wing is there. We need to find Scout Geoba. We need to find... Uh, Regis Fiash, leader of the Blood Scale. And yeah, I guess after that, we have a breadcrumb leading us out into the western parts of the zone, so I'm excited for that. Didn't get out this far on the uh, human priest, so we're kind of approaching the point that I have uh, 
the point that I've played to in Outland here in TBC Classic. So pretty soon everything that I'm seeing is going to be uh, new in the sense that I haven't seen it for well over a decade. But yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm having a really good time in Zangramar, so I'm still loving the warrior. It just gets better and better. Hope you guys are having a good time as well. Let me know what you think of the playthrough. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.